Hi everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back to Mel's Blind Life, the YouTube channel all about blindness and welcome to this much requested video, how I make a cup of tea with my Oxello tipping kettle. So let's get started. I'm going to need a tea bag. This is a bag of Narada tea because I'm a tea snob and I only drink Australian tea and I only drink Queensland tea. Um, and I'm going to obviously grab out a cup. So if you have a look in my cup shelf here, you can see that I store my cups and plates and everything in a logical order in my cupboard. So the cups are on the very far right of my cupboard. So I'm going to grab out a cup. And I know a lot of my cups by feel. So I know that this one is either the Overland or the Great Southern. I'm not sure which. Turn it the other way and we can see. Uh, Great Southern. Yay! Because I know what the shape of those cups are. So I'm going to sit the tea bag in the cup. I'm going to go over to my kettle. Now I'm going to grab my liquid level indicator, which <laughs> is this little device here. You can see it's got three prongs on it, two that are longer and one that is shorter. So the one, uh, the two that are longer are the ones that if you're making a cup of something with milk in it you would put the water up to and it would go it would make a beeping sound like that and then if you kept pouring and you got to the third prong which is the shorter one where the milk would go it would make this sound so we're going to hook that onto the side of the cup without it making hideous noises. <laughs> and we're going to sit the cup underneath the spout of the kettle. So this is a tipping kettle. It's on a, a little stand here. So you don't have to pick it up and pour. I don't like kettles that you have to pick up and pour. They scare the bejeepers out of me because my arm shakes or... I'm not sure whether I've got it lined up. Uh, when I was 14 or 15, I was staying at a friend's place and she was completely blind. She was using a ordinary kettle and she misjudged the uh, spout of the kettle with her cup and she poured all of the cup all over her hand, all the boiling water over her hand. It was midnight, we had to go to hospital. Anyway, that's a different story for another day and it's not really my story to tell. So I'm a little bit nervous of normal kettles because of that. And like I said, my arm shakes and whatever. So we're going to make sure that the cup is lined up. We're gonna make sure that the liquid level is in, the, is in there. And we're going to carefully, as we're starting to tip, we're just gonna feel to make sure that we are going to tip into the cup. And we're just going to pour until the liquid level indicator goes off. So because this tea is black, I let it go all the way until the quick beep. But sometimes if you're making it with milk, as I said, you'll make it go with a slow beep. So that is really um, it for how we make a cup of tea with the Oxello tipping kettle. As you can see, it's on its sand. Uh, and you just tip it and what I did then to line the cup up was I sat the cup in front of the kettle and I put about three fingers between the kettle and the cup and that's my basic alignment for the, the cup and the kettle there. 
So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that makes sense. And if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments down there. And remember to like this video, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notifications to get all of my updates. And we'll see you next time. Bye.